Hey, in this video, I wanted to share with you the results of my sales on Amazon in 2021, give you some motivation for 2022, share some of my story connected to selling on Amazon this last year and kind of uh, inspire you hopefully to do things and to try because I myself on a journey of being an entrepreneur and I'd like to share it with you. So let's get into it, right? So for those who just want to see like the numbers, so first in the United States, we had sales of $292,000 in sales. In Canada, we did $100,000 and a little bit in sales. And here are the profits from Seller Board, which is a pretty cool tool for profit analytics. $65,000 in net profit. So from $372,000 in sales, and that is because in Canada, 100K Canadian is about 80,000 US dollars. It's uh, 372,000 American dollars. And the profit for all that was $65,000, which is about of uh, 17, 18, maybe percent of net profits. So for those who just wanted to see it straight away, I don't want to waste your time. Now, quickly introduction. My name is Volva Evan. I'm a seller on Amazon. I've been selling there actively since 2016 and I'm still actively selling. And in this channel, I'm sharing like my journey. I'm sharing some advice. I'm doing different tips, tricks and hacks videos. I have many experts that are my friends that are coming to the channel and we help you grow because I am passionate about helping you grow. Now, also aside of that in 2021, I made about $100,000 from affiliate marketing, which is profits. So it kind of exceeds the net profit on Amazon by doing affiliate marketing through different channels on the internet. So that's another thing I do. So that, that was my, pretty much my income the last year. And that's pretty cool, I think. And look, I want to motivate you a little bit. So look, if you're somebody that has not started yet, I'll tell you that I've started in 2016. Like at least we started, I started learning on about Amazon in 2016. First sale was on 25th of January. 2017 so it's been a while right it's been like what like uh five full years or four full years i think 17 18 19 20 21 five full years selling on amazon which is crazy yeah in a few days it's gonna be five full years am i in the point that i thought i would be <laughs> Honestly, no, because first year of sales, $147,000. I think it was about 17% margins. Second year of sales, 2018, we did $323,000 in sales. So almost what we did today. And that was like three years ago. And then we had some problems in the business. I think in 2019, it was about 200 something thousand dollars, 2020, something around $200,000 and something, 21, 372. And my goal for 2020, we want to do, I think from the top of my mind, I can't remember exactly on paper six hundred thousand dollars in sales is the goal of our company this year and do 20 percent margins hopefully we're going to exceed that because we have accumulated a bit more cash this last year and we're launching a new brand this by the way i'll t talk to you about this kind of uh, these numbers why it's like that as well we're going to see what kind of uh, what kind of products i'm selling but just to to sort of give you some motivation is start now, like, don't wait too much. I know it sounds like, oh, come on, man. But that's true. Like, I started at some point and, man, like, I did so many mistakes. And on one hand, I want to say I'm not in the place that I would like to be in terms of, like, the sales that I thought I would be doing in uh, six years from when I started. But I'm definitely in the place that I would like to be because that's a great place to be. Like, I'm super grateful for that. Look at that. I mean, I've last year I generated, let's see. So the business on Amazon generated $65,000. The affiliate marketing generated about $100,000. That's in, again in profits. What the hell? Like that's like top 1% of the world. Like I'm super abundant and I'm super happy. I'm not super materialistic. Like I have this t-shirt from like six years ago, I think. And I don't want to even speak about my pants that I'm wearing that are probably from even before. And I'm just trying to say that this doesn't really inspire me. Although some people are inspired by material things and I understand that fully. I'm more inspired by sharing, by helping you, by motivating you. But I'm saying like, start so yes i could have been in a better place financially but again i'm already i don't i don't know i can't even i i started investing last year as well 2021 i invest about six seven thousand dollars in crypto i think i profited from all this portfolio about a thousand dollars last year and uh, no shiba inu to the moon unfortunately although i did like uh, i think 8x shiba inu at some point but i didn't sell on the peak so now it's back to a little bit less that's another story i invested in stocks last year i think about also six i believe thousand dollars which didn't really move much I did some index funds and I did some Coca-Cola, Pioneer, Google stock. Uh, what else? I think I did Palantir and some other things. Yeah. So this is like a few things, but I, I have enough money. Like I'm, I'm, I'm in a good position. So I'm trying to sort of build myself up like uh, honestly, but 
I really am telling you, like, start, like, do something because it, it's doable. Like, I'm a guy from a little town in Israel and, man, like, I came from no background. I was a lifeguard. Like, I was just working as a lifeguard in a, in a pool and then a lifeguard on the, on the beach in, uh, here in Israel. And at these days, I started my Amazon business. I'll tell you that two years or about a year and a half or so before that, before my first sales on the line came to be alive, I didn't even make it. I couldn't do something. I tried doing Periscope lives. I would be, oh my God, it was so funny. I would come to work in the morning, right? And I would turn on my phone. I had an old Chinese, some sort of phone, like uh, I don't remember the exact model. And I would do like motivational speaking into nobody listening to me. I got, gained about 30 followers, which is pretty cool. Right? Well, I think it was Periscope. And I would come in the morning, just like do some cup of coffee and say like, hey, here are a few things that helped me go through the day. I tried different things. I had a travel blog. I was in like doing Instagram. So many things, but I didn't stop. Like if you stop, like whatever doesn't move dice, like pretty much, right? And I'm not saying that you constantly gotta be in a hustle mode, which you can if you like it. Like I'd rather say like just be happy in your own place. Like if you want to be, you know, super big billionaire, then obviously you're going to have push more a little bit. What can I say? But, you know, if you just want to like get a few thousand dollars kind of income, then maybe, you know, just take it on your own pace, right? But just know that better take it on a pace that is continuous and continuous improvement for a long time. Like, because this way it works. Like maybe you don't understand, but I see like, for example, the audience that my channel is being watched or oh, by what audience is people who are about, hmm, let's say from 18 to 55, but more into the middle, like 30s, because somewhere in the mid 30s, like in the 30s or something, you have a little bit of money to start off with something, maybe you want something. But what I'm saying is you have a lot of time to live probably, like the world is probably, hopefully for you, I wish you long go on life, but like probably you're gonna live over 100 years old. So think about it, if you're 30 now, bro, sis, like, come on, you're so young, like, start today. No matter that you see some friends who've done it much better than you. Me as a seller, look, these results, honestly, I mean, I, I see sellers that started in the same time with me. They're far away from me. Like, they're already millionaires in the millionaires. But it's all right. I learn from them. I really uh, looking up to them. I see how they do that. They are awesome. Like, how can I learn from them? And that's, that's pretty cool. Yes, I'm far from them, but I'm also much further from where I've been six years ago. And I just started, like, a little bit step by step right there's a lot of work put into that right i'm you know we've got to create things we've got to create products work on the business and whatnot but i like this process it's fun like so do 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 and do and you'll make it now look well, let's let's talk a little bit about the numbers here so i sell barbecue related products so we sell like uh, grill brushes we have different products in the barbecue niche now this niche dies out like it's it's a seasonal niche right it goes up in the summer as you can see here these are summer months that's in usa by the way in canada it's a bit more stable but still it goes a little bit down and that's my first year selling in canada i'm not sure exactly what's going to be last uh, next year but in for example in the united states like i know this is the graph it looked the same in 2020 and 2019 pretty much the same so we peak a little bit in december the christmas but definitely our peak is in the summer so first i would stay away from seasonal products like we have this brand that's pretty mature and we have like some products with a thousand reviews some with 500 reviews and you know we have some reviews so they're kind of mature but i'm saying that the brand we're launching now we're launching another brand more like a giftable product it's gonna be non-seasonal so here it is seasonal and it just goes down so you gotta be ready for that like it might take you on an emotional roller coaster right if you're not aware of what's going on like for example you're like oh my sales are so good but then boom it goes down now when you're aware of that <laughs> that you're doing seasonal products then you're ready for this but like yeah i mean i'm super grateful for that like i'm looking at that now and i'm like pro like crazy like these are surreal numbers like it's been it's been a wild year last year you know and taking aside the informational business which generated like a hundred thousand dollars in profits like what the hell man like is this even real like <laughs> and i wish that for you that's uh, just a few words about the products we're selling barbecue niche nice niche seasonal super saturated would not recommend you honestly not because competition it's a hard niche it's super saturated so i would say look into other places but if you're you know if you have some money and all this you're ready to compete with weber and you're ready to compete with a triager and all these huge brands with big green egg or something or whatever other <laughs> then come on come on <laughs> but like i'm telling you it's not an easy niche However, people are making a lot of money in this niche that are more mature. Some have 
you know, sometimes you can be making a lot of money from even one product that's just ranked very well on Amazon. And that's pretty cool. For 2022, I would love to, like, our goal in sales is about $600,000, maybe even a bit more, hopefully. And my goal for the last year, I thought we would do a million dollars in sales. That was my goal. I think I shared it publicly. Then I said, like, it would be nice to do $500,000 even. Because I was realistic. I didn't have that much money, but like, you know, I'm always uh, re realistic, but very positive, as you can maybe see. I hope that my positivity impacts you as well and gives you some sort of motivation and practical information to do things. I really want to do that. This is one of my bigger goals, just to inspire, help, and I want to see people just like me who come from humble beginnings grow to whatever they're looking to grow to. Because I think it's nice. We all deserve a good life. And if I can help even one life to be better, then I hope that I'm doing something right. And if not, then I still want to believe that I am. And uh, if I am, then yeah, I would appreciate a like on this video and dislike if you think that it's all BS. <laughs> let's comment, let's talk. If you have any questions, ask. And generally, like another maybe shot of motivation for you. Again, there were years that it went down. Like for a whole year, I was like, we're, it's not as good in the last year. And mostly it's because of my mistakes, because I didn't know how to handle cash flow. Things changed on Amazon. This is a business that changes. Business changes. It's not like uh, simple maybe as you hear and you're getting sold once you're getting sold on the course that you're taking. And look, I mean, it's fine. You got to get sold on the course because eventually if you don't get sold, then you're not going to make it. But if you are in good hands with the course instructors, uh, let's say if you need some courses, I would recommend you down description. There are going to be links. Freedom Ticket, Helium 10, Fine Course, K Kevin King, Freedom Builder Bootcamp, Jungle Scout, Greg Mercer, Fine Course, Zap Twins, this is uh, my friends, Arik Bryan, the FBA Startup, for sure a great course with a lot of coaching. They're uh, very good guys and you're in good hands with them. Just some recommendations, links in the description if you're looking for courses. But like, it's still, it's you gotta do the work. Like, I mean, and you gotta develop some traits in yourself that will help you take and go through that like again these look like numbers right and all this but eventually this is a lot of work being done look only ppc advertising seventy three thousand dollars that my partner is taking care of the advertising and like that's a lot of money going into ads and you know there's a lot of things to learn and this and that many tactics it's I wouldn't say that it's easy, right? It's not easy. Like some things are easier, but it's not as complicated. Eventually, I'm looking at this now. I mean, I'm, I'm super grateful for that, but like, um, well, it's it's doable. Like I already see in my mind how these numbers can be bigger, right? And also I'm happy that I don't forget why am I doing that? Like if we're making money just to make more money, I think it was in the Bible. The love of money is the root of all evil. I think that they mean is the love of money itself just to accumulate more of the money. That's... I think weird in a way, right? But I think with money, at least me, hopefully, I can do better things in the world, you know? And even without them, I'm still like, uh, would believe that my videos are all for free. Most of the content, I think, if not everything that I do is mostly for free. I am happy that I can have an impact, right? On changing lives and all this. But when I have money, I can sleep a little bit better because I know that, you know, I have some investments working and I be can be creating more content for you, more things. I can collaborate more with people because I've said some cushion. I think this called cushion, safety cushion. I'm not sure if it's even the right word. Like just like a safety net, you know, and money helps with that, right? But then I can build schools maybe. I can build better water systems in places that need water. Or maybe I can feed people, you know? And I think that money can help me. I can do that to people that don't even know me in different countries. So I'm thinking, oh, if I become like a billionaire one day or at least a millionaire to begin with and I could do really cool things and even when I was not making a lot of money or not at all when I was broke as fuck <laughs> which always plays in my mind the song by Eminem you know rock bottom it's a nice song I really recommend you listening to it it's it's so true you know and I even then I still wanted and I still did hopefully like give from myself because i feel good by giving i don't know i recommend you too like again if you're just accumulating money more and more and more maybe it's good for you i don't know what's good for you what's bad for you for me i think it wouldn't be that good but just do things right again if you're looking to start the amazon business or something else then give it a try give it a shot otherwise you're gonna get to the end of your life you know uh, maybe you're gonna be 200 years old like 200 years old man you know the movie with robin williams i think you're gonna get there and you're gonna be then oh you know i remember that damn video with that dude with the tank top that was uh with a green light behind and he was saying like start and it didn't start what could have happened if i were to start so now i don't want to put you in a position of pressure like now but think about it 
<laughs> you know what I mean? But like, do things, you know, try. Maybe it won't work. Maybe you will fail. Like, I was close to failing. And somebody arguably would say, man, you're failing with your business. Although I think we're, we're growing. Like, we're fine. We're doing well. We're Hopefully this year we're going to grow even further. But things might happen. Maybe I will fail. I don't know. I don't, ho- hopefully I'll, I'll survive to live tomorrow, to see tomorrow. I'm really grateful for the opportunity to even be talking to you in the camera. Because this is not trivial. Like, maybe... I have a gym. When I have a gym session in in a bit. Maybe the barbell will fall on my head and I'll lose my uh, I don't know sight or something. Not on us, hopefully, right? But I'm just saying that like try, try. Don't get to the end or even not to the end and say, oh, I should have uh, should have done it or not. Say, you're young. You are young. You are so young. And even if you're 50, if you're from the guys, my friends that are watching that are 50s, so what? You have like. Let's say if you're living until like even 100 years, you know, let's not say 200, 100. You're just in the middle and you haven't started anything yet. No problem. Start. There's no too late. Sometimes I hear from people, oh, you know, I'm 30 already. Well, I'm 31 and I'm super pumped, you know, like physically I'm going to be pumped in the gym in a bit and (laughs) that's going to be even nice. But like for my life, I'm happy. Like, and I'm, somebody say, like, I don't, I didn't make it until 30. So what? So what if your peers became like millionaires? So what? That's cool. You can take from that. Ask them. Instead of being envious to them, just go ask, hey man, like you are awesome. How did you do that? What is the secret? Like, and obviously I'll tell you the secret. There is no freaking secrets. It's just long commitment and doing the thing over and over and over and over again. Of course with improvements. Yes, I know it sounds boring. Maybe not what you are thinking that it is, but it is like that. Like, honestly, this is just like grind, right? And somebody are better in the grind. Somebody's not that good. Somebody like blows up faster. It doesn't matter to you. Because you don't need to compare yourself to this or that person. This does not help physically or emotionally. This does not help. This is your life. And there is never too late to start, in my opinion. I hope that this somewhat moves you. If you're still like, you know what, man, I still, I'm not moved. Well, drop a comment. Tell me I'm not moved. Your video did not help me. So then I'll say, hey, I appreciate that you watched my video. But what would move you? What moves you in life? Maybe you want to do something. Maybe there is some motivation to you. Maybe what do you want to do? Like, if you dig into that a bit more, ask yourself, then maybe you will find that thing. And then you can go to that thing, towards that thing. And maybe this thing will be revealed to you while you're going to be working on something, right? And that makes it much easier. Because once you have something that, it seems, at least from my side, that you are working towards, right? When you have a bigger goal, then... Everything in every day becomes much easier because because like you're walking somewhere. You can see a little bit of the path. And I'm saying that maybe it's something that might change for me. I'm sure. I'm just 31. Like things probably will change and change and change. And hopefully also with you, we're going to live to that 200 years mark, right? And we're going to, you know, have some margaritas somewhere or whatever. Or, uh, or however you describe the good life, you know, on some beach or something in a faraway country. By the way, I've lived two years in Thailand. That was awesome. You know, you got to allow yourself to do things. You got to allow yourself to experience things. To live the fun life, to enjoy it, allow yourself. I allow you too. You know what? If you feel like, you know, somewhat closed eye, Vova from the YouTube, some random dude that you might be watching for a while or not for a while, I allow you to be happy, to live the life of your dreams. I allow you. Here's my permission. Here, maybe we'll add some graphic here. Permission to start, to do, okay? So again, it's uh, today I'm all about motivating, but really, I, I wish you the best. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments, ask me, let's grow together. I'm here, I'm open with you. You know, sometimes I would think that maybe I could have done better, for sure I could have, like, but it's not too bad what happened thus far. I would just say, let's grow together. If you have any questions ask, always feel free to comment under any of my videos. I'll give you detailed answer. And so far I've answered all of my comments on the uh, channel. If I missed your comment somehow, then tell me, Vova, you've missed my comment. I wanted to know this and that. And, and let's grow together. So all the best to you. And all the links are in the description for the courses that I mentioned. If you're looking to start selling on Amazon. Is this the easiest business model? Probably not. But again, there's no easy business model. Affiliate marketing is not as easy as you might think. Like, or if you're even aware of that model but everywhere you can make some money and stuff but uh, i just wanted to say all the best to you and have a great life and i'm gonna see you in my next video bye